To optimize the camera for product photography, I would recommend setting the aperture priority mode. You'll want to make sure the flash is turned off. You'll want to set an appropriate autofocus point. You may want to set the ISO, the white balance. If you're using a tripod, you'll want to set the timer mode, and you may want to set the auto exposure bracketing. Let's get started by setting the aperture priority mode. Turn the mode dial to AV. This stands for aperture value. What this mode does is allow you to set the aperture while the camera automatically sets an appropriate shutter speed given the amount of available light. To set the aperture, simply roll the main dial. Depending on how much of the scene you want in focus, you'll either want to increase or decrease the size of the aperture. If you want a very shallow depth of field, meaning just the subject itself is in focus and everything else is blurred out, choose a very wide aperture. I'll go ahead and choose f4. Now since this is product photography, you really should be controlling your lighting by using a lighting setup, which means you don't want to use the camera's flash. So make sure the flash is down so it's not accidentally used. Also, because this is a very controlled environment, you'll probably want to set the autofocus point. Because the camera will be on a tripod, you don't want to recompose it once you've locked down the tripod. Go ahead and press the autofocus point selection button right here. You can use the navigation buttons to select the point on which you want to focus when the camera is locked so you don't need to recompose the image. I'll go ahead and choose this point and press this button again. Now let's go ahead and set the ISO. Go ahead and press the ISO button up here and I'll choose ISO 100 by using the navigation buttons, then press set. I chose ISO 100 because this will maintain the smoothest colors in the image. And because I'm using a tripod, I don't mind if the shutter speed is a little bit slower due to the low ISO. Now let's go ahead and set the white balance. Press the up navigation or the WB button right here. I use the navigation buttons or the dial at the top to choose the appropriate white balance. If you are using a lighting setup, you can set the custom white balance right here. And if you want to know how to set this function, you can see the white balance functions video. Go ahead and press set to escape. Now we almost have everything set up. Again, because I'm using a tripod, I want to set the timer mode. To set the timer mode, press the drive mode button right here. Then use the navigation buttons to select the two second timer and press set. The reason I've chosen the two second timer is because with product photography, I use a tripod to minimize camera shake. What this allows me to do is activate the two second timer and then release the camera, giving it those two seconds to stop shaking before the picture is taken. Now you're ready to take the picture. Go ahead and fix the tripod the way you want it. Make sure the focusing point you've selected is over your subject. Press the shutter button halfway once you've got the tripod locked down to lock focus. Then press the shutter button the rest of the way to activate the two second timer. Gently release the camera, giving it those two seconds to stop shaking. Now you may want to set the auto exposure bracketing. What this allows you to do is have the camera take three pictures one after the next. One will be a little underexposed, the other will be a proper exposure, and the other one will be overexposed. This is not only great for HDR images, it also allows you to choose the exposure you want to use. To do so, you can press the quick menu button right here. Use the navigation buttons to highlight the exposure compensation field. Now, go ahead and press the set button to access the auto exposure bracketing setting. Use the main dial at the top to set this appropriately. You can set the difference between each picture up to two f-stops apart. Then use the left and right navigation button to either increase or decrease the exposure compensation. I'll just keep mine set to zero and then press set. You can see here I have three dashes indicating where each picture will be exposed. Go ahead and press the quick menu button to escape the quick menu and now you're ready to take your picture. Again, just as before, lock down the tripod, make sure the focusing point is over the subject, press the shutter button halfway to lock focus, and then press the shutter button the rest of the way to activate the two second timer.